There was a man who lived in a little town, way out from town actually, in the woods, and he lived in a one-room house. Now, he loved to be away from town because he liked his own ways. He had three dogs, I know, Uno, come to Coke Calico. They were his favorite hunting dogs. And he'd take them out hunting in the woods, come back and fix himself food. But he didn't like to see too many neighbors around. That's why he lived alone. Well, one day he'd been out hunting, and it was a cold Kentucky day. It was almost snowing but not quite and they didn't catch a single piece of meat not a possum not a rabbit not a squirrel he didn't have a bit of meat to eat for dinner that night so when he came back he settled his dogs down he said now boys you settle down we're just going to have to eat beans tonight now he got himself a big old black pot filled it with water threw a bunch of beans in there and hung it on the fire and when those beans started to boil, he thought, mm, I sure wish I had myself a piece of meat. He was sitting by the fire warming up when he heard a sound down by his foot. It was a screeching sound. And he looked down and there was an animal coming in through a hole in the floorboards. And that animal, when it came in, had the longest old tail. So he grabbed his hatchet, which was sitting right behind him, and he went, whack! And he saw that thing just skitter on out through another hole in the floorboards, but it left behind that big old long, thick tail. And it was full of good meat. And he put it in his pot and he let it boil. And when it began to boil, it smelled wonderful. It smelled like roast beef cooking on a spit. Well, when that meat was done, he served himself a big old helping of it and he sucked the meat off that bones, gave the dogs the rest of it, and they chewed up all the bones. And then it was time to settle down for night, so he settled his dogs down, climbed into bed, pulled up the covers. He wasn't near asleep when he heard something at the front door. Scratch, 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 scratch. Tailey bone, tailey bone. I want my tailey bone. He thought maybe some people were trying to play a trick on him, so he went over to the door and bam, 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 get out of here. But he heard it over at the window. Scratch, 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 scratch. Tailey bone. Tailey bone, I want my tailey bone. He thought, I'm going to have to let the dogs take care of this. So he went over to the door and he called them. I know, Uno, come to go Calico. He opened the door and said, go get that thing. Those dogs lit out. Oh, 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 oh. He hit him way out in the woods chasing that thing on off into the distance. But soon the dogs came back and they weren't barking. They were whining. Oh. He said, what happened to you boys? Look at you, you're covered with scratches. And he washed them down and he put a little salve on them and he settled them in the corner and he locked the door and he thought, this is strange. So he got him some rags and he stuffed it in all the holes he could find in the floorboard and around his window so he knew he was safe. He locked that front door, climbed into bed, pulled up the covers and was almost asleep when he heard it again underneath the house. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scratch. Tailey bone, tailey bone. I want my tailey bone. He thought, land sakes, I gotta get those dogs up again. He ran to the front door. He said, I oh, know, Uno, come to go, Calico, go get that thing, open that door, and oh, he could hear the dogs running underneath the house, scurrying round and round. Woo, 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 woo. He thought they got that thing for sure, and then he heard them chasing off into the woods. Woo, woo, woo. Dogs stopped barking straight away like that, and he called him, I know, who know, come to Cocalco, and that was dead quiet. He wondered why they would have stopped barking like that. Maybe they fell into a cave or hole or something, but they didn't come back, and it made him nervous. So he locked the door again, and he climbed into bed, and he thought, all I have to do now is wait until morning and I'll be safe and I'll go out looking for the dogs. So he lay awake with his eyes open all night long. Now when the sun started to come in a little bit through that window, he 
He breathed a sigh of relief and said, yeah, I'm safe. I made it. And that's when he looked at the end of the bed. There were two red eyes peeking at the end of the bed, a long nose and sharp teeth on a critter. And that critter said, T-bone, T-bone, I want my T-bone. <laughs> and it jumped on that man and it screeched and it scratched. And honest, I don't know what happened. Because, you know, the people from town came out to see him when he hadn't showed up in town for many days. And all they found was an old scratched up piece of bed clothing. His dogs were gone. He was gone. And they all believed he ran on off in the middle of the night down toward Tennessee. Some said he probably got in trouble with the law and that's why he ran away. But others said, no, that's not what happened. Because if you go to that house to this very day, it's all broken down now, and all's left is a chimney sitting there. But you'll hear on the wind late at night when the moon is full. Table.